earlier today, we received a brand new skin crate called the Pirate Crate. This crate has nine pirate skins in total, seven of them being brand new. In this video, I'm gonna be showcasing all of these skins and giving my personal rankings as to how good they are. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk to me, suggest videos, or maybe even be in one, consider joining the Bluehead Mafia Discord. It's a great time, and I hope to see you there. To start off, we have the Pirate Warden. At level 0, it has gray pants, a white shirt, a gray cap, and a harpoon replaces its regular bat. It also has a different idol animation than usual, and I think this looks pretty cool. At level 1, it now has a pretty cool belt with a gold buckle and a bag attached to it, and it hands now got some gloves. At level 2, a lot of things have changed. First of all, it's got a black coat with some blue flannels, its shirt now has a little bit of red inside of it, and its coat has some gold linings on it. Also, its harpoon is now golden. At level 3, it now has a fancy blue fedora, and its harpoon is now blue with some extra little blue neon spikes on it. And finally, at max level, pretty much everything changes. First of all, its coat and hat are now white and blue, it's got a handsome little mustache, and instead of a normal shield, it now has a pirate wheel as a shield. I think this shield looks really cool, especially with the neon blue, gold, and black color scheme. But most importantly, its harpoon is now changed into a huge anchor which it rests on its shoulder. I think this looks really cool, and the anchor just looks incredibly powerful. I think it's a really fantastic skin, and I really like the color scheme, so I'm gonna rank it as an 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the new gladiator skin. At level 0, it has gray pants, a white shirt, a blue belt, and his sword has been changed into some kind of hatchet. At level 1, it gets a shoulder pad and some gloves. At level 2, it gets a black beanie, and his hatchet gets a bit blue. At level 3, its shirt turns black, gets a couple of buttons, blue and golden wristbands, and it gets some straps on its knees. At level 4, the blade on his hatchet gets a lot bigger, and the hatchet gets a neon blue outline. Finally, at level 5, it now has a dope captain's hat with a little feather on it, an eye patch, and its sword is now way bigger and completely neon. Also, it now has two swords on its back. Honestly, this might be one of the coolest Gladiator skins. It's just really unique, and I think the blade is probably the best design out of any blade of any of the Gladiators. Because of that, I'm gonna rank this as a delicious 9 out of 10. Next up, we got the new Hunter skin. At level 0, it got some black markings on his face, an old school kind of flintlock gun, a black coat, white wristbands, and some blue ribbons hanging off its shirt. At level 1, it gets some brown gloves. At level 2, it gets a bright blue outline on his hat and a little blue feather. At level 3, it now has a blue coat with a red and golden flannel. Its gun is now a shade of blue, and light blue, and gold, and it gets some pretty goofy glasses. And at level 5, pretty much the only change was it got a mustache, and I'm not gonna lie, this looks so stupid along with the glasses. I really think the glasses completely ruined this skin, and because of that, I'm gonna rank it as a 5 out of 10. I, I know the the rest of the skin is really nice, but come on, man, you can't be wearing those glasses. Next up, we have the new Pirate Mortar. At level 1, it has a really detailed blue, gold, black mortar, which I think the design is honestly sick, and the dude itself has a white shirt and a blue bandana. At level 1, the mortar shaft is longer, and the dude itself has some gloves and some straps across his shoulders. At level 2, the dude now has a bandana and some bombs on its straps. At level 3, the mortar shaft is even bigger, it's got some golden supports, and the dude itself has an eye patch. At level 4, the person now has a blue and black pirate hat, and at max level, the mortar is now gigantic, has some bandaging around it, and the supports now connect as a ring at the top. Also, the dude now has a different pose, and every time he shoots the mortar, he does a pretty special little laugh. And while it is really cool they added that, I gotta say, it gets really annoying really fast. Like, oh my god, shut up! Anyways, I think it's a pretty cool skin. I do think the laugh is a little bit annoying. However, I do like the design and the effort that's put into it, so I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. I probably won't use it though, because the laugh is gonna make me go insane. Next up, we have the Pirate Crook Boss. At level 0, it has a blue flannel outlined with gold, a black belt with a gold buckle, a white shirt, and a blue flintlock gun. At level 1, it gets a cool pirate hat. At level 2, it gets an eye patch. At level 3, it gets an automatic gun, which I didn't know pirates had that. And at max level, it gets a really nice beard. It gets a badge with a cross on its hat and its eye patch. And it now has a cape, and its gun now has a drum barrel. I really like the skin. There isn't really any parts of it that stand out like the hunter did. And overall, I think it fits really nicely together. Because of that, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Pirate Demo Man. At level 0, it has a white bandana on its head, an eye patch, a brown broken down shirt, brown pants, and a grenade as a bomb. 
At level 1, it gets some gloves. At level 2, its grenade is replaced with a stick of dynamite. At level 3, it now holds a cannon and has a different posture. And at max level, its brown shirt is replaced with a golden and black tank top. It has a gold and black pirate hat with a red feather and has some gray wristbands on its arms. It's a pretty cool skin. I do say it's a little bit basic, so I'm going to rank it as a 7.5 out of 10. It's really nice, but it's just not as cool as the other skins on this list. Next up, we have the Pirate Farm. At level 0, it's a little boat floating across some animated water with rocks and sand to the side of it. From my knowledge, this is the only animated farm in the game, so this just looks absolutely sick. At level 2, the boat now has a sail. At level 3, it has an even bigger sail, a little hole in the back, and an open treasure chest at the front. At level 4, the boat is now way bigger, has 4 sails, 2 of them having skulls on them, and now it has cannons on deck. And at max level, the boat now has black sails, the skull has a blue eye in it, kinda looking like sands, and the ship now has more cannons to the side of it. This is by far my current favorite farm skin. The fact that it's animated is so cool, and it looks so good while it's animated too. Like the water just looks so magical. And because of that, I'm going to rank this as a solid 10 out of 10 skin. I'm most definitely going to be using it a lot in the future. Next up, we have the Pirate Commander. A level 0 has a white shirt, a brown flannel, a blue cap, a blue sword, and a blue gun. It's also standing on a little wooden paddle. At level 1, it gets a mustache. Nothing changes on level 2. At level 3, it gets a white coat, a white pirate hat, and a red eye patch. And at max level, it now has a black coat with blue flannels, a black and neon blue pirate hat, a blue eye patch with a cross on it, and a golden stub as one of his legs. Honestly, the idea of the commander being a pirate is so fitting. And because of that, and the fact that it looks amazing, I'm going to rank this as a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it, but it is a shame that it doesn't make that <laughs> noise that it did in the trailer. Now, and last but not least, we have a very old skin that came back into this crate, the Pirate Commando. At level 0, it has a red shirt with a little bit of yellow at its neck and two flintlock guns. At level 1, there's literally no difference. At level 2, it has a red pirate hat and an eye patch. At level 3, it now has a much more decorated shirt with yellow and orange around its collar and a belt along its waist with two bags. At level 4, it now has a black pirate hat with a skull and a feather on it, and most importantly, a cute little parrot on its shoulder. And at max level, it now has golden flintlock guns, and it now has more of a red and black fedora instead of a pirate hat. Overall, while I do really like the parrot, the skin is so incredibly outdated that I have to give it a low ranking of 6 out of 10. And with that, that is all the skins in the new Pirate Crate. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments down below which skin is your favorite. And before I end the video, I'd like to thank Smelly Gamer Chair, TSS Seal, Redman 40 Ida, Solox, Related Kidney, Rookie, Duolingo is Coming, Nimbus the Wicker, Alberto Valentines, Yord, Sikun, The Figure, Adam, The Pirate Bay, and John Joe 684 for supporting my content by becoming a channel member. If you'd like to help me out and get some special perks in the meantime, like being my friend on Roblox, consider becoming a channel member today. It helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Head Mafia. My name is Corso, and I'll see y'all in the next video.